Welcome changing requirements even late in the development. Agile processes harness change for the customer's competitive advantage. If I had to sum this up, I'd say embrace change. We humans have this tendency to resist change. I'm human as far as I know. <laughs> and I try to fight it all the time. And today what I'm showing you is some changes I'm doing on my Evernote knowledge base notebook taking advantage of backlinks and note previews. Let's start with what inspired me. A long time ago, I copied this Scrum guide from its website to Evernote. What I did back then was create a note for each chapter. As you can see here, it's a single manual and we can even download the PDF. But what I did was create, let's click here, for example, the sprint. I create a note for each chapter. And because of the way backlinks work, I didn't have to do anything. Each chapter now has a backlink to the Scrum Guide note. And since I've been studying, teaching, and working with Scrum, Kanban, Agile, and others for so many years. I have lots and lots of notes and content about all these topics on Evernote. Uh, so far, tags were the only connection they had. For example, as you can see down here, I have a Scrum tag, I have an index tag. This means that this is an index note and I have a guide tag meaning that this is a guide. If I filter by Scrum you see many notes about this topic. I started noticing another connection. It's automatically <laughs> we don't have to do anything. They just show up in, in, in every note. I had this idea of connecting more notes, connecting all this content to create a way, an easy way to navigate from one note to another. For example, if a note or a blog post mentions a book, I link that to my book uh, highlights that I grabbed from Kindle. By the way, there's a video here in the channel about this. And if a note mentions the, the Scrum Guide, for example, I'll link to this guide. So there's, I'm creating this web of connections. I'll, I'll show you here because it's better. But today I'm not doing what I usually do here on the channel. We're not building together. I'm just my plan here is just to show you how it is because it's still a work in progress. There are very few nodes connected, and of course this is gonna evolve during the next couple of weeks. So let's take a look. Okay, here's an example: two backlinks in the Scrum guide. Let's go to the Scrum glossary. This was here before, but as you can see here, there's a link, the Scrum Guide, and this was pointing to the web version of the Scrum Guide, and now it is pointing to my Evernote Guide. So let's let's go back there, and let's see if there's another connection here. Here is, is the Scrum Guide again, and here we have values. This is pointing to the values chapter and the Scrum Guide. So here it is, this is the chapter Scrum Values, and as you can see here, there are two backlinks. One is going back to the glossary, and the other one is going back to the guide. Let's go back to the guide, because I wanna show you the other backlink. Scrum, with this little icon in front of the word, is what I'm calling central nodes. Let me click here. This is what I'm building. So I have a link to the Scrum Guide, the Scrum Framework, the Glossary. And as for the books, the preview is helping me know which book it is without even reading the note because of the cover. So if I click here, here's the book and my highlights. Again, there's a video here on the channel where I explain how to do this. You'll find a link in the description below. Okay, let me show you a little bit of what I'm doing. So I have here these two images of a neuron. I like this one the most. So 
So I'll right click here and copy this link. I know that there this word is all over this book, for example, so let's find it. Common F neuron. Here it is. Common K, paste the link. Now it's linked. Here's another book that I'm sure has this word. Let's find it. K neuron. Let's use this one here. Common K, paste it and apply. Of course, I could also do this. Common K, select a node. Okay. And Okay, now let's go back to the memory central node. This is what I'm calling this nodes. And let's go to anatomy of a neuron. And now we have three backlinks to books and the central node. This is pretty cool. And this one now has a backlink to the memory central node. And of course, there's a tag central nodes that I can filter by this tag and now I have all the central nodes I'm building with all this knowledge. There's a lot more that I'm doing here to connect all this knowledge. My plan today was to show you a little bit of my work in progress. This is in the very beginning so I'm sure you see many other videos about this topic in the future. If you found this useful and enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon.